Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, for a seasonable start to the month, temperatures have been warming again, and now we're back in near record, if not record warm territory for the next couple of days before a cold front comes through Tuesday night. But even behind that front, temperatures will still be warmer than normal for the rest of the week and even the upcoming weekend. Now, we started this morning at 47. Warm front came through Evansville about 10, 11 a.m., and then we shot up to 79. That's 17 degrees above the average and only too shy of the record set back in 1987. And we're going to be in that same ballpark again tomorrow. You can see the highs. We're generally uh, in the 75 to 80 degree range. Tell City a little bit warmer, Fairfield a little bit cooler but not much is really going to change here until we get that front on through. And even though we had a lot of clouds today, most of the rain has been steering off to the northwest of at least Evansville. Live Doppler radar is still showing that trend, though. In the last hour, we might be picking up a little spotty light rain now in the Evansville metro, but the steadier rains are along and west of I-57, but they are grazing parts of Wayne, uh, Clay, and Richland counties up there in the northwest corner of the tri-state. You can see that's where some significant rain fell today about a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch as you head north and west of the Fairfield area. Otherwise mostly cloudy and very warm. It really looks like it's going to be a record warm night across the tri-state. Here we are at the 10 o'clock hour and the temperature is still 71 over a dew point of 59. We got the clouds, a south-southeast wind at 11 miles per hour and temperatures are generally upper 60s around 70, still 73 in Morganfield. The record warm low for tomorrow morning is 63 Three. I'm forecasting 65, so I think we will easily beat that and keep uh, all those temperatures certainly above that mark all day long tomorrow. And we won't really begin to fall in earnest until the front comes through Tuesday night. Now, last night there was a deadly tornado outbreak in the Oklahoma City area. That tornado threat shifting a little more southeast tonight where a tornado watch continues for southeastern Oklahoma. No warnings in effect right now, but the good news for us is that by the time the system gets here, I'm not anticipating any significant severe weather. There could be some thunder and lightning, but this will be mainly a rain event for later Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night. So let's update the timing here with a new future tracker run since we last joined you at the dinner hour, keeping some of those showers still steering north and west of Evansville. And then we wake up to mostly cloudy skies, but we should see some clearing as the day goes on, and it will be a pretty nice day. It's going to be a little windy. It is going to be very warm again, maybe a spotty shower, but mainly north and west of Evansville. And highs again will be in the upper 70s, forecasting 77 to 78 for the Evansville Metro. The record high for tomorrow, though, is in the low 80s, so that will probably uh, be safe. And then tomorrow night, Again, a record warm low is possible as we drop only into the low 60s by daybreak on Tuesday, which will dawn with some sunshine. So for Election Day, if you're going to be out there voting and you don't want to deal with the rain, get out in the morning or early afternoon because that rain will be increasing from west to east later in the day. But at the noon hour, still not much going on. It will be very windy and mentioned upper 70s once again. That will be enough for a potential record high on Tuesday. By 4 p.m., you can see the rain really picking up just north and west west of Evansville, but it's mainly rain. There's not much in the way of any kind of storms embedded within that, and that rain will continue to increase from about 4 to 8 p.m., and we got a pretty solid area of rain across a good deal of the metro, our Indiana, Kentucky counties, scattering out a bit in Illinois. Again, that's 8 p.m. on Tuesday, and that rain will gradually diminish later Tuesday night. Could still be a little rain Wednesday morning down in our southeastern counties. That will come to an end, but this system is going to stall down to the south of us, and so the clouds are going to linger, especially over western Kentucky, but the rain should be ending, and it does get a little bit cooler, but it will still be warmer than normal with high temperatures topping out at around 70 degrees. Rainfall amounts with this system should be significant. New model uh, updating here. Well, actually, we saw that through 9.30 Tuesday morning. You can see that the amounts uh, not quite in here just yet, so the model hasn't quite finished all the way through Tuesday night, but it's looking like about a half inch to maybe an inch of rain out of this system. But overnight tonight, most of the scattered showers, the significant ones, will be north and west of Evansville. Could be a little spotty light rain here in the metro. Record warm lows in the middle 60s. And some clearing tomorrow. Spotty showers, that's about it. Windy and warm mid to upper 70s. We're weather aware on election day for that 70% chance of rain, mainly later in the afternoon and evening. Uh, clouds will be increasing. Very windy. Near record high of 77. The rain ends around daybreak Wednesday. Some clearing in 60 
69. Slight rain chances Thursday and Friday. We're still around 70 for the high. Then another system comes through for the upcoming weekend. It looks like a cold front Saturday night. So some showers and thunder showers ahead of that later Saturday into Saturday night, then diminishing on Sunday. All right. Thank you, Wayne.